with Stevie Lyle back between the pipes, the depleted Basing Stoke Bison welcome the Milton Keat Lightning to town on a kids for a quid night, along with the usual long-term absentees. Joe Green had joined them on the sidelines, Stuart Mogg once again stepping up for the side, and he went close early on before the Lightning rang one off the pipes themselves. The night before, the Bison suffered a shootout defeat to the Slough Jets, which turned on Joe Miller's match, later downgraded penalty for high sticking. No doubt the Welshman feared the worst here, but no call was made on the play. Michael Farn happy to get back in the action. The Bison continued to put the pressure on, and when Carl Graham's slap shot was dealt with by Stephen Wall, a sliding mock took the goalie and the net away. However, it would be the Lightning who grabbed the only goal of the opening stanza. A lost battle in the middle creating the turn and fire for Lee Jameson, who made no mistake at 16 minutes and 37. A pinpoint finish between the blocker and Pad of Lyle, his 23rd of the season, assisted by Blaz Emersick and Adam Brittle. The intensity stepped up in the dying moments, a coming together between Tony Redman and Yanni Jokola, leaving the Finn less than impressed. But replays showed the captain had the fleeter foot to send his opponent crashing into the boards. By now, everyone was getting in on the act, with Yaroslav Chesky laying on the big hit to ground the returning Nick Paul, the recently retired coach getting a bumpy ride on his return to action. No doubt the MK fans were the happier as the second started, once referee Cloutman had stretched out those old muscles once more. Saturday's man of the match, Joe Rand, found himself in the action early, a shot and hit to get the second off to a flying start. The pressure came from all quarters. Chesky's drive on the power play padded away, but Doug Shepard just failed to hit the target with the rebound. Neither side were giving an inch, with Alex Simmons and Jokola battling it out in the corner. Eventually, the Bison would find themselves short-handed, but that wouldn't prove an issue. After Redmond won his battle along the board, Shepard set ran free, and what followed was something special. The Canadian undressing Blaz Emersick at 35-39, opening up the five hole of Wall, leaving Rand to make no mistake on the backhand and bring the game level with his 16th of the season. MK stepping up their play once more, Ross Green making his presence felt on Seski, but the game remained level heading into the final stanza. The Bison were driving to the goal from the get-go, and in some cases got just a little too close. Off of Nicky Watt's wraparound, Michael Farn had nowhere to go, sending the goal crashing down on Wall. The pipes heavy enough to turn any Geordie into a Mackham. Thankfully, Wall was OK, despite the concerns of those around. He was soon back to his best, though. A strong save denying the Bison, but also setting up the turning point of the match. Joe Rand's hit, unfortunately just off camera, leaving Lewis Christie on the ice although he was able to get back up. A quick discussion between the officials saw Rand handed a 5-plus game for checking to the head. So, for the second night in succession, the Bison faced a long stint on the penalty kill. MK tried to make it easy by levelling it up at 4 on 4, 
But all that did was create more ice for Camelot Verdict to play. Using his speed to step inside his man, Lyle made a fine blind save, but Emisic just got his stick in first to tap home the rebound. 24th of the season for the Slovenian, all coming from Tverdic's earlier work at 47-25. With the five minute penalty still on the clock, high sticking from Zach Sullivan set up a five on three in MK's favour. Bison held out for as long as they could, but just as the first man returned from out the box, Tverdic called for it on the opposite post and fired home a third. Good stretch from the MK forwards, Tverdic 22nd of the season. The Lightning seemingly on course for two points. In fact, they didn't let up, continuing to pepper Lyle's net, with Farn maybe wishing he had done more with his golden opportunity. The Bison had the chances late on, but couldn't find a way past the impressive wall. A 3-1 defeat, not what the Bison wanted, heading into Wednesday's cut semi-final second leg against the Slap Jets.